Somebody on YouTube asked me how I made my uh, skunk keychain. You know, this one here? Of course you don't know. Anyways, so I'm going to show them how to make one. Although it's pretty easy, it's nice to follow steps, I guess, if you want. My skunk keychain, I was lucky enough to find a chain of this. <laughs> Uh, I found this one upstairs on the floor. It must have come off of one of my mom's keychains or something. But she never said anything, so I just took it. It's probably better to use one of these so you can put it inside the hole. But you can also maybe use a rubber band or something and, you know, put it through the hole and secure it that way. I'm not going to show you that. Anyways. And what I used is children's clay for just three dollars. It's like it takes three days or about to um air dry, you know. That's the black I mean that's the white and this is the black. As you can see I have more black. So So even though you probably won't be touching the table or anything, you'd probably still want, you know, to put a paper down. It probably doesn't matter too much. I have a lot of clay or whatever. So you, you don't need that much clay to begin with. It also depends on how much you want your skunk to be, how big you want it. <laughs> so, you know, roll it up, make it nice. And pretty. <laughs> and then you just start molding it. I like to start with the head first. I don't know why. You know, just pinch it for the ears. And bring the nose out. Of course, if you need more clay anywhere, just poke it out and, <laughs> you know, do your thing. I probably even used a little bit more than I wanted. That's okay. I could always use more clay later. It also depends on how fat and skinny you want your skunk to be. And how pointy his ears will be also. Now I'm not going to make this perfect or anything, but just so you can get, you know, the gist of it. I would usually use, like, uh, a pencil or something to separate his feet. But I wasn't smart enough to grab that right now. I mean, you know, the fun part about clay is that you don't really have to be careful about what you're doing because you could just add more clay or take away some clay. Make his feet a little longer. I 
Alright, I'm gonna look like a doggy. <laughs> and also for the tail, which is cool. I don't have to do much to that. <laughs> Add it on, and, well, you would smooth it out and be careful not to make everything all weird looking. And like I said, I'm not making it beautiful. Just doing for a quick show. And that's kind of your skunk starting for more shape and a less saggier butt. <laughs> Just keep messing with them until you have the shape you want more or so. And then you get your white out as well. I really don't have as much white because of my dragon. And this white is kind of dried out, as you could probably see. <laughs> I don't know why. I must have stored it weird. But it'll do for show. Sure. And if you want your tail to stay up more, you're probably going to have to put something under it until it, you know, hardens a bit so that it can take that. And you will be having your clay be more, you know, in control because this, this clay is not good. But, you know, you're just going to put the clay down like that, you know, so he'd be all beautiful. So just squish his face in <laughs> You get what I'm saying. <laughs> and, you know, for the eyes, you would just take little pieces. You would roll them up. A little older than that, probably. Stick them on. <laughs> and for the eyeballs and a little piece for the nose and like I said also you're gonna Oh, it depends how heavy your skunk is, but I put a little something under here also, so when I put it, you know, to harden, it would stay like this. Just put a little toy under there that I did. And I also got a little bit more clay and made the circular piece, Oops. <laughs> like that. Although it was more better because of the fact that the white wasn't crappy back then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, anyway. I like you holding a ball. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I recommend. Finding something like this chain that you could just throw it in and attach it. It's simple and easy. Although you could probably get them at Walmart or something. You know, look around. And don't let your clay dry out. 
before you're done with it. <laughs> like I did. So that it will end up like this. And not like this. Anyways, happy clay making. I hope this helps at least a little bit to give some depth perception or whatever, you know, of how to sculpt it out a little better or what you should do and should not do about the clay issues here.